Well, good morning and thank you for tuning in. I really trust that you will have a wonderful day today and that you will experience the favor of the Lord upon your life. And that is only possible if we start it the right way. And that is in God's word. And so the scripture that I would like to share with you, we find in the book of Romans 12 verse 2. Yes, I know it's a very well-known scripture, but let's refresh that scripture once again today and um, it says that we should not be conformed to this world and the patterns of this world but we should rather be transformed by the renewing of our mind then we will be able to know God's perfect and pleasing will and so I don't know about you but I want to do God's will but it makes it difficult these days if we look at what the world has to offer there's a certain standard that the world um, throws at us you got to have the best car you got to live in the best house you got to wear the best clothes all of that is fine but if that is your drive then I want to say to you that is futile in the end we got to have a heavenly perspective we got to have a kingdom focus and so we should be very careful that we are not conformed to the standards of this world. And so it's all about how we see ourselves through God's word. You know, God's word is like a mirror. We need to look in God's word and see what his will is for our lives. And so this morning, if you feel that you do not match up, if you feel that you don't have everything that the world wants you to have, then I would like to say to you, you've got everything that God has called you to be. And so look in God's word this morning and you will find that you are more than a conqueror. You will find that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And so with that in mind, come on, let us pray together and let us trust God for a breakthrough. Father God, I say thank you that we can look at you and we can look at your word and find, Lord, that we have everything that we need, Lord Jesus, to make a difference in our world, Lord. And we, Lord, we say sorry where we have tried to match up to the world's standards, Lord. We come today and we repent. But Lord, as we repent, we look back to you and we say thank you that your word transforms us. We say thank you that your word trans renews our, uh, renew our minds so that we can see what you want to happen, what you want to happen in this world. And we say thank you for that. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in and may you have a blessed day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.